happy thursday it's the last stream of the week i'm going on vacation on friday through tuesday of next week so the next stream will be on wednesday i also forgot to upload the stream for editor andrew to make the recap yesterday so sorry about that uh today's price action very very choppy after cpi we're gonna go ahead and cover the trades taken um this happens of course on my live stream trades by matt is the main channel it happens every morning at 8 30 a.m central time starting next wednesday and uh please sit back and enjoy the recap yo good morning welcome everybody happy thursday last day of the week for me this is the last stream of the week until next wednesday going on vacation we got a holiday on monday all the good stuff Should pull up the news we had jobless claims and cpi come out at 7 30 this morning uh other than that we don't really have much uh we got barking barking at 9 30. um and then 30 year bonds at noon if you trade those four weeks at uh 10 30. this is the cpi candle obviously red candle uh consolidating at yesterday's initial balance high which is interesting something to t like at least note not really sure how we respond there but it's at least noteworthy uh we are right above yesterday's value area low rejected yesterday's value area high was the cpi candle um i think the big question here is do we rotate back up or not do we retrace the candle or not um plenty of times we see the retrace happen maybe it'll be a little fake out to the downside pump up i don't know we'll see so for me right now obviously i'm not trading the first 15 minutes but what i'm looking for is like how do we hold these wicks at you know 47 50 value area low uh if we don't hold these at you know 45 47 all this area right here if we don't hold these wicks and we instead sweep it below 41 uh below where this volume is then i'm pretty much looking for new lows if we get back below this volume if we fail to get below this volume uh that you see on the histogram i'm inclined to think we push you know 60 for 50 to 60 and then if we get above 60 then i think we're going up to vwap 400s uh if not higher into the 480s but we'll see coming down into that volume at 41 right there uh it's exactly what i was just talking about the volume at 41 on the histogram bouncing off of it so far nice little uh 20 point pusher go ahead and crank out this wordle range it's not range because the end but i do like the g and the e getting tested there so i'm gonna go ahead and send that so r is probably here i don't really know of any words that end with re large large is a good one i like large i'm gonna try large i like large more than carp to be honest well yeah yeah i feel like l is a good letter to get in there could be party oh no we have a t and it's an e at the end not a y i'm gonna retract that statement carve carp yeah let's try carve i just have a hard time thinking it's a fish name to be honest oh i don't know if i like this wick test or not bottom of the range enough it's just we have volume at 60 i feel like we probably push 60. i'm gonna give it a shot but i kind of feel like we potentially could get it pulled into that volume at 60. <clears throat> green line alga might hold us out also it's this untested wick right here anybody take this uh untested wick over the wick test got paid instantly off of it I thought I even front ran it, bro. Come on. I still like it. <sighs> Missed it by uh, two ticks. Missed it by two ticks. That's okay. On to the next. <clears throat> nice slap. Come back down into that prior, prior wick. Little delta divergence as well. I'm interested in taking it if I get it. If I get filled off of it. Kind of think that was probably the low 53. I wanted 51. A little too clean to get 51, I guess, huh? But we had a Ligma. 
little Delta Divergence formed here, which is why I was interested in buying it. Swap the prior high barely, push VWAP again. But yeah, the Ligma. That seller is making a new low here, and here we had them not making a new low, but price made a new low. Typically pushes this out, which is exactly what happened. So I was interested in taking that prior wick, prior high, as a long entry. It just didn't didn't get all the way down there. Missed it by two points. So so far, missed a trade by two points. Missed a trade by two ticks. Uh, and we fire away. We keep firing. Let's see what happens. You gotta do more GeoGuessr, LOL. Yeah, I think I actually have a free game of GeoGuessr up. Let's try it. <clears throat> While we chop at VWAP. Chipotle? What the heck? Plot twist. Alright, this is in UPS. I'm gonna say this is in Mexico. Oh no, that doesn't. This is like Arabic. Travel services. Okay, it's next to the ocean. I'm gonna say not Somalia. I think this might be like Tunisia or Morocco. I'm gonna go with Morocco. I'm not looking at the chat for this, by the way. I don't know what y'all are guessing. But I'm going to guess Morocco. Oh, dang it. I even said Tunisia. Dang. That is actually the closest I've been. Obviously, the other one I missed by a lot. I felt pretty solid about that, too. I should have guessed Tunisia. Damn. I needed a little bit of redemption there. It would have been really fun to actually get it, get the country right. I feel pretty solid about that Morocco guess also, to be honest. I don't I don't know. I've never seen, I don't think I've ever seen pictures of Morocco or Tunisia other than uh, I went to uh, Epcot, Morocco one time in eighth grade. He wouldn't have known the flags. Honestly, valid. Have you seen Rainbolt play GeoGuessr? Every time I see a clip of him playing GeoGuessr, he does it in like 0.3 seconds, and it's always just insane. He like knows based off the type of tree, the type of gravel, the type of fence post, the type of electrical post. It's just, it's insane. The craziest ones is where someone will send him a picture of like, I saw one where it was like a picture of a girl with her dad and was like, I don't know where this was taken. The girl was super young. Can you help me find it? And he like found the exact bench. And it took him like not very long. Dude's got to be working for the uh, the agency, if you know what I mean. I think I still like the 60 buy, honestly. Uh, prior point of control. The uncanny ability to put an order in and have the red line algo right where it's stalling is unbelievable. Like truly unbelievable. And I don't do it on purpose. I'm not like, it's not like I'm doing the math. It's just like, uh, I put out the order in and it's like red line algo. <laughs> uh, cleaned the block out. Pushed off volume. Got some buyers coming through. Uh, initial balance is forming in two minutes. Yeah, buyers look pretty solid. Gonna close in 30 seconds. Uh, I want to see, obviously, uh, if we're going to push highs, I want it to, I kind of like the fact that we're coming down a little bit so it can be aggressive, like an aggressive push into the 15s and then, you know, sweep it into 25s. Be ideal. Be like a 25 point candle or something, which is not insane by any means. Coming down a little bit, buyers holding up. Like, do you buy the prior open? 88s? Problem is, you got to give it. 75s probably oh shit i did not mean to click that button i hotkeyed the wrong wrong thing i went ahead and just instant killed that because i don't even know what i was in for i don't know if i was short or long this then i think i was i was short instant kill i lost uh two ticks did not mean to execute that that was a fat finger quite literally literal fat finger moment i was trying to pull up my crosshair and i market sold instead uh, probably a good time to use a friendly reminder if you accidentally get into a trade that you don't want to be into just instant kill it it's not worth it it's not god telling you to be into a trade all right that's a much cheaper trade one that i'm willing to take off of volume risking you know eight points basically miss that trade by a point and i'm filled
Stopped out. Oh, that wick stopped out too. Look at that. Fighting the inner urge. Fighting the inner urge to say, they're hunting my stops. <laughs> to the tick. They did it. That was clean. Yeah. Imagine if that was an exit. That would feel great. <laughs> if, that was a, if that was a take profit, that would feel great. No love on that block fill yet, huh? At 65. And then we got the wicks get running at IB. So both both are very much on the table right now, in my mind, of things I want to see. I want to see 65 get filled, and I want to see these wicks get run at that initial balance. The volume on the one minute chart. This is not volume on the one minute chart. This is uh, the Dom just on a, on the chart. So you can see big orders. 41, big line there. 65, 115, big line there. Now, this is the type of move where it's like, you know, we continue to push this all the way through IB. I'll take the breakout uh, through the wicks because it's a strong, strong buy up into initial balance, right? I'm in on the breakout of IB. See if we can get some continuation or if we're just going to wick it out again. Here's the fake out wick out is uh, on the table, huh? We got a 56 block at 05. Giving it a second to see how we react here. Because we could come back down into 93. But I want to see us clean this up. There's a 93. Honestly, I'm tempted to add one there. I don't really do that super often. I should have. That would have played. Should have done it. I don't really do that super often, uh, but like a level like that, I'm pretty down for. Should have done it. It's okay. Try and stay away from averaging into stuff. A lot of wicks up here, huh? IB's been really wicky lately. This week, I guess. More this week than normal, I feel like. I'd like to see some legs here. Push this prior high. 06. Push 06. Get some buyers to come through. Clean up the wicks. trying to come through got a lot of juice up through 30 honestly Let's see if we can pop the wicks I'm gonna go and move this break even. I probably get stopped out break even, but I'm not willing to let it go back against me. 
I'd like to see it do it or do nothing, right? Uh, it's a break even. Not gonna let that go back down into the 400s though. Pretty shit trade. Um, no other way to put it. Should have added that 93 that I was talking about. I would have made it a lot better. <laughs> I would have made it a great trade, but uh, I would have made the add a great trade. The first entry still sucked. I'm expecting the breakout off that. Like, this is a nice rebound. I probably should have played off Delta a little bit more. Whenever we see a lot of strength like this, I think it was yesterday or the day before. That would have to help me remember, or the Discord would. Put a screenshot of it because I took it, but whenever you have like a big surge into IB, a lot of times you get that continuation, which is why I was fine taking that, but it really stalled out there. A lot of wicks at 20. I still believe all these get run, but I'm not willing to participate in that. 